everyone and welcome back to the Stitching Cafe this week. Today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite soups. You could call it a stew, but I'm calling it a soup. It's so, so good. It is called butternut goulash. Do not let the name of this recipe discourage you or make you think negative thoughts. It is so warm and comforting and good and yummy and just it's that time of year where the harvest vegetables are all in and we get to start cooking with the squash and the pumpkin and all the oh it just feels good to be in there cooking and having something simmering on the stove and you're not sweating because it's cooler in the house and in the kitchen this one is so so yummy you're going to be able to use something that i very very seldom ever get to use and never used before learning this recipe butternut squash it's really, really good. I never knew before that when you cut open a butternut squash, it actually smells very much like a watermelon. So you learn something new every day. Please give this recipe a try. I hope, I hope you will. It is definitely a family favorite for me and for my family. And it's actually easy too. And I've learned from the get-go, do your prep ahead of time and then just have it all ready to go. It just goes so much easier that way. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in the kitchen. Ciao. Welcome back into the kitchen today, everyone. We are making a butternut goulash. I know I use this adjective all of the time, but this recipe is really yummy, especially this time of year. There are a lot of hearty harvesty type ingredients vegetables some root vegetables in here i found this recipe a couple years back and it very quickly became a favorite and a regular in my recipe file today we're going to be doing this a little bit differently normally i will give you the amounts of every ingredient as i add them but because i am making such a large batch of this i am doubling it and it is going to be very very large I'm just going to add the ingredients and then list the normal amounts down below in the description. So be sure to check that out. The normal number of servings for the undoubled amount of this recipe is six to eight. So I am doubling this because this does store really well in the fridge. And I will eat on this for multiple days. So I love the leftovers. I'm starting with some ground beef and I have a little bit of butter in the bottom to give it some really good flavor while it's cooking. And what I'm going to do is add in some white potatoes and some red bell pepper. I'm gonna give this a quick little stir. We want these vegetables to become crisp tender So I'll just let this cook for a couple minutes. If you like and you love to have garlic in everything, you can add some minced garlic into this. I'm sure the flavor would be fantastic. I am leaving them out today just because I love the flavor as it is without it. But that, like I said, is completely an option for you. All right, it is time to add our next ingredient. I'm going to take this big old batch of crushed tomatoes. and add that in here. Now, if you are like me and you only have half of the amount of crushed tomatoes you need, you can do a combination of crushed and petite diced. That is what I'm doing. And just give that a stir. And we're going to add in one can of tomato sauce. I almost said soup. That would be a problem. I'm going to add in this wonderful cut up butternut squash. I'm going to add that into my pot along with two cups of beef broth. And then we're going to add in some salt. This is two teaspoons. 
And then we're going to add in some chili powder and some oregano. Now you also have the option of adding in some red pepper flakes, but I am opting out of that today just because, well, I ran out. Of course, the information and the amounts are listed down below. Now that we have all of our ingredients in here saved for one, you're going to want to bring this pot to a boil, put a lid on it and lower it to a simmer, let it cook for 20 minutes. Then I'm going to show you the additional ingredient we are going to add and how to proceed from there. I would say the prep time of this meal with all the chopping and the preparations of the vegetables, it's about 20 to 30 minutes and the cook time is about an hour from start to finish. So it is a perfect fall type meal, a wonderful cozy meal for a cooler day. Maybe it'll be rainy and drizzly outside. This one will warm everyone up from tip to toe. We're going to let this do its thing, get to a boil, and then I will be back to show you how to go from there. It's time for our lid, so we're going to lower this to a simmer, and we're going to put the lid on it and let it cook for 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes. This has been simmering away. We're going to go ahead and add in our last ingredient and then let this continue cooking. We are going to add in some cut up zucchini. I told you there were more root vegetables. I know you didn't believe me, but there are some zucchini added to this. We're going to go ahead and stir this in. And then we're going to let this continue to cook for 20 to 25 more minutes. All right, everyone, it has been 20 minutes because if you know anything about me, if I have the option of waiting 20 or 25 minutes for food, I will always go with the 20. So this is looking really, really good. I already tested the vegetables and they are nice and tender. So I am going to go ahead and plate now, though is it technically plating when we're putting it in a bowl? I guess we're bowling right now. I hope you love this soup. I hope you'll try it and I hope you'll let me know what you think. Thank you so much for stopping by the Stitching Cafe today. And until I see you again next time, bon appetit and ciao for now.